THHN and XHHW are two of the most common types of building wire. To know which one is best for your application, you need to understand what sets the two apart. Let's start with THHN. THHN stands for Thermoplastic High Heat Resistant Nylon Coated. It's the most popular type of building wire used for construction purposes, but engineers also use it in machine tools, control circuits, and some appliances. THHN wire comes in two types of conductors depending on the size, stranded or solid. It's manufactured with either copper or aluminum, and it's covered in a polyvinyl chloride or PVC insulation with a nylon jacket to protect the wire as it's pulled through conduit. The use of nylon jackets also enables a reduction in the amount of insulation required, allowing a conduit to contain more wires compared to unjacketed wires of the same current carrying capacity. THHN wire is approved for up to 600 volts and is listed by Underwriters Laboratory, an independent product standards company, as rated for 90 degrees Celsius in dry locations and 75 degrees Celsius in wet environments. THHN wire often comes with a dual rating of THHN, THWN, which means it can be used in both wet and dry applications. XHHW2 is the next generation of XHHW, and it stands for cross-linked polyethylene high heat resistant water resistant wire. It's mainly used in residential, commercial, and industrial buildings, but you'll also find it being used in feeder and circuit wiring. It's manufactured with copper or aluminum conductors, and depending on the size, can come in either solid or stranded cable configurations. The newer XHHW2 wire is approved for up to 600 volts and rated by Underwriters Laboratory for 90 degrees Celsius in dry and wet locations, whereas the previous generation of XHHW was only approved to 75 degrees Celsius in wet locations. There are a few important factors that set THHN wire apart from XHHW2. THHN wire uses a thinner PVC insulation, which could be a disadvantage depending on the application. The reduced coating can lead to current leakage and can break down from chemical or environmental exposure. XHHW2 uses XLPE insulation instead of PVC. This makes it more expensive, but its coating is more resistant to chemicals, ozone, and abrasions. THHN wire also isn't as flexible as some alternatives because of the nylon coating. So what you gain in mechanical strength and sturdiness, you lose in flexibility. While XHHW2 wire definitely offers certain advantages, THHN wire is still a popular choice because it meets the needs for many applications while staying within budget. Employee-owned, customer-driven, border states.